when the crate arrives, it will be pretty much like this. They might be slightly different form factors. This is for number three, Menage a Trois. And the front side has latches top and bottom and then on each side. So this is going to eventually open up. And you'll see the box inside. And then in the back, protected is the stand. So the stand comes out. And it's better to take the box out first if you'd come give me a hand. Oh, also inside, usually throw the anything like the, the cloth and there's candles or anything else. Uh, it's crushed velvet, so just leaving it crushed is just fine. And in this case, this is in two pieces. Hi, I'm Matt. I make the Infinity Boxes. And today we're going to talk about Infinity Box number six. And Radiance down here goes on a stand here. And when the stand is uncrated, it's in two pieces. One and two. So this saves uh, room. It minimizes the length. So it's only as long as a little bit shorter actually than the box. So then we only have to compensate for the height. So it just comes apart and you just put it together simply by setting it up. The screws are down here in a small piece of foam core so that they're always attached. All right. So the screws are in here. You can just pop them out. So everything is pre-drilled. You can use power, or I often like to start them with um, a screwdriver. Just to get them set, at least one. At least one. One footnote if you are actually going to put this in for long term display, if it's going into a facility. These stands are really made for um, short shows, um, not made for multi-month or year-long, years-long exhibition. So I highly recommend that solid, big solid bases be built out of plywood uh, that are heavy and can't be tipped over. These won't be tipped over, but they still are um, not the same kind of stability as a 60 or 70 pound base with some weighting in the bottom. The only problems I've ever had with the boxes have involved humans and alcohol. Bad combo. <laughs> um, too much alcohol and people lose their inhibition and they also lose control of their body. They give up control of their body and so there tends to be more pushing or leaning um, had a lovely couple that went to a um, tequila bar at a festival one time and came over and started kissing and then leaned up against the box and tipped the whole thing over. So they were mortified that they did it, but here we are, <laughs> or there we were. Once you have the base set up and before the box goes on, I'm going to show you this without the cloth just so we can see the underside of the box and there's light. But this basically goes on, not basically, this does go on, and you want to just kiss the floor with it, wrap it around, and it just flops inside. So, it 
the weight the weight of the box will hold this in place. You just need to make sure you get it in place first. Yeah, that's great. All right, and you don't want any um, doubling up, any unnecessary doublings in the fabric as it goes around the top. So try and even it out so it's nice and smooth all the way around, and then you're ready to go. Um, don't leave it so that it's hanging down because people will step on it. You want it just to lightly graze the graze the floor or be up a quarter of an inch okay and the bottom of the stands are all painted black so that it can handle a little bit of um, height on there it's crushed velvet so when you're done with it you just take it and wad it up and put it away it looks even better because it's crushed velvet <laughs> so that keeps that in good shape again everything is pretty much uh, designed for production efficiency these once they're put together they just collapse and fold up and stow away or easily come out so there's uh, minimal minimal storage width dimension once it's ready to be stowed and uh, packed away and then when it comes out it's fully stable. The box stands on four small feet which give enough room for fingers to go easily underneath and not get pinched when you're lifting it up or setting it down. All right so to lift it one person on either side Come on, please. There we go. Um. Okay. Underneath the box, on the underside, you'll find a hole in one corner, and it has a zip tie which is attached to an electrical cord and that's what's going to illuminate the interior and now the interior is lit now we can decorate and put in flowers and various other things that we would want to put in on to glass cleaning so I tend to use a microfiber cloth this particular one is Sprayway glass cleaner by C.R. Lawrence um, but any good glass cleaner will do. I don't use Windex or things with ammonia like that because it might ruin other finishes in here. Uh, I have found very good results using uh, apple cider vinegar and water at one to one. Start by, I don't tend to spray right on the glass. Spray right on the, on the cloth. Get that dampened and then wipe. It creates a film on the glass. It's kind of wet. And then you'll flip the cloth over and buff it out. This way. With radiance, people put their head in and they'll put their cheek on this side or on this side and that leaves a mark. So this strip right here about three or four inches in on either side of this end is what gets the most cleaning over the course of a day or an evening when people are there. This particular box has two very distinct points of view. Um, when we look in from 
this side I call chaos looking into order, and that's order looking into chaos. So you are standing in order looking into the chaotic side where it's all broken up. And let's just continue with our cleaning. Now the cloth is dried out a little bit so it doesn't create quite as much film. But still you use a damp side and then the dry side. And that's pretty much it for cleaning. It's very straightforward. From this point of view, people will put their, um, their head in and look around. And so they'll tend to get cheek marks right here, just like the other end. Um, so the easiest thing to do, there's very little fingerprints in here. Sometimes people will reach in and touch and see. But um, for the most part, you're just cleaning a three inch strip on each side at both ends and that's the, the easiest thing to wipe down. Very quick, quick and easy. Deco for this box, decor, is generally a series of small electric tea candles that by staggering them, when you look off in the distance, it creates a whole field. If you put them in a line, you'll just see a radiating line go around and there are spokes. Uh, this way it tends to create a little more interest. And the story of this box is rooted in the Bhagavad Gita in the scene where Rama reveals himself to Arjuna before this great climactic battle and Arjuna is fearing for you know, having to go to war against his relatives and friends and the two sides have chosen what they're going to, you know, they're going to go to war. And so he's in a chariot and Rama is his charioteer and he reveals himself and as he opens his cape, uh, Arjuna sees all the universe and Rama reveals himself in all of his aspects young, old, male, female, child, sick, healthy, everything. And so this is kind of an homage to that moment. And so this side is order, and that side is chaos, and these are the interplay between the two and how quickly and deeply our perspective can shift on a topic, same topic, but each side of the discussion is a radically different point of view, right? Okay, and this is also the box that is the most photographed. It's the most photographic and photogenic that way, because many of these experiences happen in the brain. Here it's really happening in the eyes, if you will. It's, it's good for a camera, but boxes where each eye is given something different to see in the the image is created inside of the brain. That's very hard. You can't really photograph that. You can only have the experience, which is why it's, it's fun and it's playful and it's interesting. This box is about the photograph. So, and it's about the essential dignity of each human being, right? So we see all these different aspects of one person at one moment, all the way from front, center, off to the profile, and off to the profile. The box itself is a single unit, so there's no moving parts by design. Um, you can put flowers in it or other things, if you like, um, that are of interest to your guests but it's very straightforward. This is not a tabletop, so please don't let people put drinks up here. They'll have a tendency to do that. I mentioned the issue with alcohol. Inhibition drops, people walk up and set their drink up here and pull their phone out and start working with it. So 
that's just the what is so of it. <laughs> but it's not really meant to be a coffee table up here. If for some reason the side legend came and it was not attached, here we go. Wipe it down. Then on the back, this is called a security hanger. These are two little um, slotted pieces. And then at the bottom, this is going to drop into the hole and then get screwed on. So this goes on this way. The bottom T-screw mounts in. You give this a little turn and now it's locked on. It should come locked on and just stay locked on. So there's no reason to, to mess with it.